Hey everybody, it's MLB11XNT22. Um, I'm back for the extra deck video for my or Seal of Order Calcos deck. Let's get started. First up, I'm going to introduce you guys to the to the main Xyz monster of my deck. One I handcrafted myself. And um, I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Number 200, Ori Calco Soul Eater. This is my, this is pretty much my avatar, pretty much. Just like Escape the Terror Death is the avatar of Robbie Cole. And by the way, people, uh, subscribe to mco 40 give him all the support he needs as well. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Thank you. Um, okay, now how Ori Calco Soul Eater works, he's different from any other XC monster, and here's why. He is a dark, rank 5, 2500 attack, 2000 defense zombie. This card can only be special summoned by the effect of rank, rank up uh, of magic Valtor's force. Um, cannot be destroyed by a battle except with number monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one exceeds material from this card to target one monster on the field. Attach that target to this card as exceeds material. Exceeds material, exceeds materials attached to to that target also become exceeds materials on this monster. If this monster would be removed from the field by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, you can detach one exceeds material from this card instead. Pretty much this exceeds monster, guys, you won't be seeing until I have rank up magic battle towards force in my possession. So that'll be in my next build. But at least I'm previewing um, what your guys are going to see in my next build. Next up is his alternate form. Yes, I said alternate form. Instead of using chaos numbers and counties, my Xyz lineup has alternate forms. This is his alternate form, Ori Calco's Dread Scythe. I'm not going to reveal the effect of this one. You'll just have to wait until my next deck profile, and then you'll know what it is. So next up, um, three returning monsters for my build. Demonic Storm Dragon. 100 Eyes Dragon, and, or 100 Eyes Dragon, which remember, I pretty much like 100 Eyes Dragon better. And, um, Dark Gale Negativia Swordsman. Um, you guys have seen them in my Neori Calcus deck before, so you guys know how these work. I won't explain them. But they're really good cards to have at one. Because at one, they're really not broken. Next up, New Order's 12 Birk Mahaz. He's really good, but he's really good. I mean, he's a very good monster. If you guys seen the Japanese version of Zexal, you should know what he does. Because I don't need because I won't explain this if you guys know what it does. But for new people that don't know what it does, I will explain. He is a um, rank 12 light beast, 4,000 attack, 3,000 defense. Once per turn, you can special summon all Xyz materials attached to this card. During the end phase of this turn, all monsters special summoned this way are attached to this card as exceeds materials. When this card leaves the field, any monsters special summoned by this effect are destroyed. So he's really good, so say I use Shaman and Sorcerer, make a rank 12, boom, overlay. I can pretty much use his effects to summon them back and just do some wombo combos with him. He's really good. Next up, three Orichalcos Dragons. You should know what these by these are by now. Here's the newest one, number 108 Orichalcum Dragon. Um, the, 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 I'm gonna give a shout out right now to one of my one of my buddies, David uh, David Burnett. If you don't know who he is, he's also an Orichalcos Duelist. And if any one of you guys know his YouTube channel out there, subscribe to his content. He's a very good person. Thank you. Um. Uh, so what Orichalcum Dragon does is very simple. He's a dark ring 4, 2800 attack, 2500 defense, and um, he requires two level 4 Orichalcus mon Yeah, two level 4 Orichalcus monsters. Once per turn, during every player's turn, you can activate one of these effects. Effect number one, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Add one Orichalcus Ori monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Effect number two, and this is why I have the Orichalcus Soldier in my deck. You can attach one Orichalcus Soldier monster from your hand or graveyard to this card. So he's really good in that sense. Next, Ancient Orichalcus Dragon. This is Orichalcus Dragon's second form. 
with main form. What he does is he requires, he originally requires five level five Ori Calculus monsters. If this card has a, has ex, has um, Ori Calculus Dragon as an Exceed material, it gains this effect. You can detach all Exceed materials for, attached to this card. Then, well, detach all Exceed materials attached to this card. Sorry. Then add Ori Calculus cards from your deck to your hand up to the number of Exceed materials attached. So he's pretty much a road up for the Ori Calculus cards. In the sense, at least I think. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what he is. Next up, Eternal Orichalcos Dragon. The, now the thing is, I don't need to explain his his effects. The only thing you need to know is, um, uh, pretty much uh, I'll explain them anyway. Pretty much, if he would be destroyed by battle, I could detach one Exceed Hero from this card instead. But if he has Ori Calcus, uh, Dr ancient Ori Calcus Dragon as an Exceed material, he gains the effect to where he is unaffected by monster effects. Really good. Uh, next up, Ori Calcus Hydra. Um, this card was traded to me by a very, very, very dear friend of mine and one of my be uh, one of my best friends in the whole wide world. Um, named Jason, um, otherwise known as uh, can't remember his YouTube name, but um, I'll I'll put it in I'll put his YouTube name in the description. But subscribe to Jason's channel. Look at his videos. He, he he's got some good videos. He really does. But I'm not gonna explain Ori Calcus Hydra's effect until you face me. Last two Ori Calcus monsters. Orichalcos King, one of my main synchro Orichalcos monsters. He's a really good monster. This one I will explain. Dark level 8 zombie, 3000 attack, 2800 defense. And what he does, one Orichalcos tuner plus one or more non tuner Orichalcos monsters. Once per turn, you can destroy one card your opponent controls. If it was a monster, gain life points equal to, that, uh, to its level times 500. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, gain life points equal to its combined attack and defense. If this card is destroyed, gain 3,000 life points. So if he's destroyed by any means whatsoever, I gain 3,000 instantly. So he's really good. Really good. And the last one... Mm. Orichalcos Hero. He's a really good monster, really good level 5 synchro. Um, he's a dark warrior, 2200 attack, 2000 defense. One tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters. When this card is synchro summoned, you can special summon one or a calculus monster from your graveyard. Once per turn, while you have, while well, you control an, an or a calculus field cell, I could, you could pay 1000 life points to draw one card. So pretty much he's draw power for the deck. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is the extra deck. That is everything that you need to know about my newest build of my Ori Calcos deck. Everything you need to know about the extra deck, and everything you need to know about the deck. And as I said before, subscribe to my friend Jason's channel. I will leave a link in the description for his YouTube channel so you can check it out. And I will also leave a link in the description for Robbie Cole, for Robbie Cole's channel. And I will also leave a link in the description for my buddy, um, Tyler Youngerfield's channel. Ori Calcus 96, aka Mewtwo Overkill on YouTube. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoy, enjoy this content. Um, so, until next time, this is MLB11XNC22 saying, see you later.